India came one step closer to rolling out 5G services on Wednesday as the government announced the schedule for the auction of Spectrum. The Digital Communications Commission had approved the 5G Spectrum auction according to Telecom Regulatory Authority of India's recommendations on May 17th this year. Subsequently, the proposal was sent to the Union Cabinet. In its meeting on Tuesday, the Cabinet approved the Department of Telecom's proposal for the auction of 72 GHz of Spectrum for a 20-year period and, to the shock of telecom operators, it has allowed the development and setting up of private captive networks with the aim of ushering in a wave of innovations in Industry 4.0 applications. It is said that 5G speed will be 10 times faster than its predecessor. The Department of Telecom has notified that the auction of 5G airwaves will begin on 26 July. The government said that the payments for Spectrum can be made in 20 equal annual installments which will be paid in advance at the beginning of each year. The government said that this is expected to significantly ease cash flow requirements and lower the cost of doing business in the sector. The bidders will also be given the option to surrender the spectrum after 10 years with no future liabilities with respect to balance installments. In what appears to be a setback for telcos, the Notice Inviting Application or NIA issued on Wednesday showed that the cabinet has left the reserve price of 5G airwaves unchanged. In May, the Digital Communications Commission had approved the auction of 5G airwaves. Mobile service providers had asked for a 90% cut in the base price. However, accepting the suggestion of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, it only recommended a 36% reduction. However, there was one piece of good news for telcos. Prashant Singhal, the EY Global TMT Emerging Markets Leader, said that one of the key highlights of the 2022 Spectrum Auction NIA was abolishing the Spectrum Usage Charges or SUC for this auction. Singhal explained that at present, the SUC paid by operators varied between 3 to 5 percent of the adjusted gross revenue depending on the year of acquisition. Thus, according to him, the 0 percent SUC would be a welcome relief to operators and enable a faster 5G rollout. Another setback for the telcos was the government move to allow private networks. Leading up to the cabinet nod, telcos had opposed any move to set aside spectrum for captive private networks at an administered price. On the other side of the fence were the likes of the Tatas, ITC and the Broadband India Forum, which had argued that assigning spectrum directly to enterprises was the only way to enable Industry 4.0. The Cellular Operators Association of India, or COAI for short, had recently sent a letter to Communications Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. The letter said that there would be no business case for rollout of 5G networks by telcos if captive private 5G networks were to be permitted. COAI is the apex body of telecom operators with Reliance Geo, Bharti Airtel and Vodafone Idea as its key members. The COAI letter also said that in regions where 5G had been rolled out, there had hardly been any gains in revenue from the retail segment. Instead, revenue and efficiency enhancement could only happen in the enterprise segment. Telcos have argued that based on global trends, 40% of the revenues from 5G come from the enterprise segment. I agree with you that uh, the demand for the players, the, the demand of the players, which was really a 90% reduction in the cost has not happened. And uh, probably the government also weighed its maths around that piece. But to offset that, I think the government has done a couple of things. One is they've said that you can actually pay it over the next 20 years at the beginning of the year. So I think from that perspective, the cash flow significantly gets adjusted for the operators, which has obviously been a sword sword for all of them. Number two, the government is also giving a levy that you can actually surrender the spectrum after 10 years without any penalty. So two things which will definitely help the operators to manage their cash flows. Obviously, uh, the government has rolled out spectrum in all the three bands. If the prices would have dropped, I think we would have seen a lot more participation in the C band. But I think now what's going to happen is that the operators are going to weigh their strategies in terms of uh, in terms of the C band, whether it's going to be metros, whether it's going to be ACTs. I think that's where they'll probably pick up the spectrum earlier and then look at how the auctions go for picking up spectrum in the larger domain of things. But I think very bullish on this, all the operators, all the three operators will pick up spectrum in this forthcoming auctions. So I think, you know, 90% reduction in the auction price or the base price was, I think, too much to ask for. I agree with you that the auctions will be slightly muted, more so because the business cases globally haven't come up so strongly. Even if the operator, even if the DOT finally decides to give away 
spectrum to private networks administratively i think one of the critical reasons for that is that the government wants to keep a step ahead in terms of building up the use cases on industry 4.0 whether it is in terms of healthcare whether it is in terms of education whether it is in terms of automotive space etc so i think the government also wants to kind of project to the world that we are a step ahead when it comes to really building up a lot of use cases and that could really get pushed if you actually give an allocation administratively so i think in both ways i don't think it's going to uh, have any impact really on the options because if it is going to get done administratively the operators will be keeping that in mind and i don't think there's an overlap between what the operators want to do and what the private networks want to do so i think this thing will get settled over a period of time as we get closer to the options on wednesday the broadband india forum hailed the cabinet's decision to enable private 5g networks as a step that would give a boost to digital india it noted that all the four methods of allocating spectrum for private 5g networks as recommended by trai including the option of enterprises obtaining spectrum directly from the dot have been permitted thus the forum said that enterprises would be able to develop private 5g networks for specialized captive use and march towards industry 4.0 it added that private networks would further provide an additional source of revenue for the government through the license fees and administrative costs paid for the spectrum allocated to them with 5g for private enterprises say for a maruti udyog or a toyota or any manufacturing unit i think uh, we would be there among the top most players in the world so that's very very important but we should go beyond manufacturing 5g private enterprises will embrace other areas like logistics hubs for example the efficiency of our transportation the efficiency of our seaports for example seaports we have done our modeling by a projection on the jnpt which is the largest seaport if we had 5g network we could have an improvement in the return on investment by 138% that is humongous similarly if you look do the same for chennai pt you will again get about 70 80% improvement in return on efficiency so these are all very easily realizable whether it is seaport or airport for example apply 5g network in a bombay airport or a delhi airport would be giving tremendous advantages and you will probably attract all regional traffic to come to these hubs instead of other hubs so it's going to be a big big thing for india in terms of manufacturing in terms of logistics in terms of agriculture on the balance of things it appears that telcos lost out on some key demands however they were also provided some measure of relief this leaves us with one key question will the telcos reassess their previous stand that captive private networks would do away with their business case for 5g if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. Sab achhi dikh rahi hain yaar. Kaun se kare dun? Ye to wahi baat hui. 4000 shares listed hai. Kaun sa lu? Wo to sabse aasan hai. Tujhe 5 paisa nahi pata? Shh. Ab to sabko pata hai. फाइव पैसा पर है चार हजार स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली बिफोर इ